Hello everyone, welcome to QuickCut Academy. Today in this video, I am going to tell you how we can integrate API in Angular 17 project. So integrating API in Angular 17 is a bit different than the uh, previous version because here we have the concept of uh, standalone components as well. Okay, so here in this video, I will show you how to integrate the API. So first, uh, while using the uh, HTTP for integrating API, we need to import the HTTP client module. So you can uh, go to your specific component where you want to integrate your API and you will mention something called as HTTP client module. So HTTP client module and it will be imported like this HTTP client module at the red angular slash common slash HTTP and we will need one more thing to inject in constructor. So I, here I will make the constructor and here I will mention private private HTTP HTTP client. So this uh, two things are done. Okay. So now I will create uh, one method public fetch details okay and here we will uh, write the uh, code related to the api integration and before starting uh, that we can uh, use our ng on it method to call this phase details method so for that we need to add implements on in it okay and it will give you error so because once you implement on in it you need to have ng on in it method okay so here i have added and here i am calling this newly created method okay so now we will uh, move to the api integration part so here we need to mention this dot http and whatever the uh, type of that method is uh, whether it's a delete get put post that we need to mention so before integrating this, we need to have the some actual endpoint. So we can uh, go to the internet. We can uh, type something as JSON placeholder. And here we will get the first recommendation. We are going to click on that. And here we will get one mock API. So here I'm simply copy pasting this uh, randomly. Uh, and here I will mention this dot HTTP dot get. And this is my endpoint. So this thing returns the observ observable. So we need to subscribe to this. Okay. So we will say something as subscribe and then uh, we will create one error function. So here we will say response any and we will print the response as it is. So console.log response. Okay. Now let's uh, reload our browser and let's just see whether this is integrated or not. So here you can see I'm getting the details. Okay. So here through network tab also uh, we can check our uh, API call. So here I will click on fetch XHR and I will reload this and here I'm getting the response as expected. Okay. So let's just uh, show this on our html as well so i will just say div i will assign the data so here i will create one variable as public data i will just mention any and then i will the response i will map this response like this dot data is equal to response and simply i will just mention like this with interpo with this interpolation i will say so i will uh, use any of the key like data dot id and just see okay it's getting printed so in this way i will copy paste and here i will mention the another key as well so what is that a title okay so i will just say title 
and now see these two are getting uh, displayed on our screen so in this way we can integrate the api in our angular 17 project so the, uh, be it the http client module or http client so everything has to be done in our component.ts file only so for we need to import http client module in our import section and we need to inject the http client in our uh, constructor okay so thank you for watching this video i hope you like it make sure to subscribe to my channel thank you